So basically, the, these cameras are going to pick up fiducials and say, I expect the fiducials to be in a certain location. I expect the fiducials to be in a certain location, and, and if, if it's not, then the first thing we'll do is we'll move the patient. And the second thing that'll happen is, even when we're not completely off, on, with you know, the patient, with the couch, moved, you know, even if the patient is not completely on, the robot will adjust for the placement of, for, for the fiducials uh, being where they are. So if if the the uh, even with the couch movement, you know, putting the patient in, in spot, if it says, well, we need to move over uh, two millimeters, the robot will move over the two millimeters. And um, the computer and the robot, um, they, they also they also. Uh, uh, I think what you said before, uh, they also uh, compensate for breathing and movement on the table. Yeah, so yeah, we have a more complicated system where, where we use this, uh, we put light emitting diodes on the patient and the patient actually, uh, we monitor their breathing with light emitting diodes and so we build a, a model between the breathing pattern plus what these are giving and so that model the robot will track. Can you tell us more about the, mom, uh, the robot arm, uh, what it does, and, and how it does it, and does what it does? The robot uh, arm, its purpose is to move this linear accelerator in such a position that you could aim the linear accelerator with great accuracy. And, and, then, the, and I'm sorry, then that, the linear accelerator, that's what generates the beam of radiation? The beam of radiation, yeah. And so basically, the idea is, is that by moving the linear accelerator around, every beam goes through the patient in a unique direction. And that means, you know, radiation is doing tissue damage as, as, you go, as it goes through the patient. So, so it's going to do damage all the way through, but with one beam, it's not going to be very much damage. But when you start adding beams together, wherever the beams intersect, you'll get more and more damage. And so by having many beams, like 100 beams, uh, intersecting, that the intersection of those 100 beams gets a lot of damage, whereas each individual pathway gets little damage.